is the perfect RIA In case you didn't know Bringing you all the strategies To help your business grow Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Sit back and listen in While you feel the beat, yeah Another myth bites the dust Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Follow Up Friday, where I, Matthew Jarvis, walk you through the most important part of this week's episode, which is, of course, taking action. Now, this week's episode was a special episode. It is quite rare for Micah and I to have guests on the podcast. Now, quick side note on this. Every podcast expert we talk to, not these fake experts who talk about podcasts. I'm talking about the people who have phenomenally successful podcasts. I'm talking about Michael Kisses. I'm talking about John Lee Dumas. I'm talking about Aaron Walker, uh, people who have these phenomenal podcasts, Benjamin Brandt, Adam Schmiele. They will all tell you that the key to growing your podcast or a key to growing your podcast is to have as many guests as you possibly can and to guest on as many shows as you possibly can. And you might be asking yourself, well, man, Micah, what the heck's going on? You guys almost never have guests, and I almost never hear you guests on other people's podcasts. Why Why is that? This is where being intentional can trump, at times, best business practices. You see, with the perfect RIA, Micah and I set a criteria very early on. In our very first meeting together, I can recall it. We were sitting in a coffee shop in Alaska having moose, a reindeer sausage, excuse me. And we said, hey, listen, we're only going to do the perfect RAA if we are having a ton of fun, if we are building our friendship, and if we are delivering massive value to advisors. And as soon as any of those three things goes away, then we're going to stop doing it. And what we discover is one of the things we do not enjoy is guesting on other people's podcasts or having other people as guests on our podcast. Now, again, this is not to say you shouldn't do that. You probably should. What it's saying is there are a lot of paths to success And you can find an advisor or an expert that has taken almost any path to get where they are. What you need to find is the path that most resonates for you. And I think this segments nicely into this rare guest episode that we had with Floyd Shalansky, who is Micah Shalansky's father. Floyd is a phenomenal advisor in his own right and just a spectacular gentleman. It is always an honor for me to be able to spend time with Floyd. I learn from him no matter what we're doing. Uh, last year, I was able to spend some time with Micah and Floyd up in uh, Western Alaska doing salmon fishing. I've been able to visit Floyd's office on several occasions, and it's always an honor for me and such a privilege to learn from his wisdom and expertise. And so if you didn't listen closely to the episode with Floyd, I would first and foremost suggest that you go back and listen to that episode and really draw out from that, what wisdoms can I take away? What can I learn from somebody who's been doing this for Decades. And sometimes it's easy to look and say, well, Floyd's been doing this so long, he's out of touch with what it takes. Now, I would say that was true if you were going to ask Floyd about internet marketing, for example. Floyd may be out of touch with internet marketing. Now, that's that's a maybe. I wouldn't even put money on that. What he is certainly in touch with, because he's still doing it on a regular basis, is delivering massive value to clients, training and building the next generation of advisors running a very hyper-efficient, highly effective, highly profitable team. Floyd's also very effective at living a super intentional lifestyle. He was one of the earliest people I know of doing surge meetings. Why? So that he could spend time with his wife, with his children, with his friends. And so this is an episode looking at somebody who has for decades lived an intentional practice. So what are the action items, the takeaways from this episode? Well, there was their own set of takeaways in the episode, but I want to give you a couple of different ones. Action item number one, I would say find an advisor who has been doing this a long time and who has the practice that you want, right? So there's, there's all sorts of old timers that you can run into who talk about the glory days And then you peel back the numbers and you realize they just have a terrible practice. Floyd is not one of those advisors. He has a spectacular practice to this day. Find an advisor like that and look for an opportunity to be around them and to learn from them. Now, thankfully for Floyd specifically, you can go out and buy his book, Registered Investment Advisor from Scratch, 50 Lessons to Consider Before You File. Now, while it says 50 lessons to consider before you file, these are 50 lessons that are incredibly valuable for any advisor in any format, wirehouse, RIA, whatever the case may be. And wherever you are in your practice evolution, this is a 
gold book for you. So that's action item number one. Action item number two, and this is something Micah and I harp on all the time. If you ever see the advice of a proven tested advisor in conflict with the industry experts, go with the proven tested advisor, right? They're the ones that are in the trenches actually getting it done. Yes, there may be some expert out there with a fancier website than Floyd with a nicer looking brochure with a more polished presentation, maybe. But at the end of the day, if I get to choose between the two of them, I'm going to choose to spend time and learn from Floyd every single time. And so my gratitude goes out to Floyd for taking uh, time to be on the podcast. Again, my recommendation, you go back and listen to those words of wisdom from Floyd, Look, read by his book, and look for opportunities to spend time with the truly great advisors in our industry. And until next time, happy planning. Hold on before we go. Something that you need to know. This isn't tax, legal, or investment advice. That isn't our intent. Information designed to change lives. Financial planning can make you thrive. Start today, don't think twice. Be a better husband, father, mother, and wife.